Hello everyone, this is Moses from Out There Gardens. I'm looking at my Kadota fig right now. I just picked one big fig. Look at that. Look at that. This has been one year in the ground. Already this size, already producing a lot. But the birds are getting to them. So I gotta get them before they uh, get all eaten like these. But it's alright. There's still a lot. So let's dig into this one and see how it looks now. I hope. Sorry. I hope there's no there's uh no ants. There we go. Please whoa, this is really soft. Oh it's gooey. That's perfect. Now watch an ant come out. No, good. Let me taste. This Kadota fig tastes like honey. Yep. Yep, just like honey. Amazing. Amazing fig variety. Big figs too. So, uh, there was a question before in one of my videos just a couple days ago about a, I thought that uh, figs couldn't ripen off the tree. They can, not much, but they can a little bit. But uh, you can see how much syrup is coming out of this one. Look at that. Come on. See it? That's all sugar. Coming out. Look at all that. That's not water. That's sugar. On the uh, on the whole. So, but let me try to eat some more. Let me pick them off the tree. So if you don't have a fig, Kadota figs a very good variety. And let me try to get this refocused. Wonder why it's not focusing. Regardless. So. I would definitely do a Kadota because you keep them about seven feet high. That's as high as they really get right there. They can get a little higher, but that's about it. So perfect for pots, perfect for in the ground. Won't take much space, easy to prune. Really beautiful, big, big leaves. So this is all done with wood, wood chip mulching and seaweed fertilization. All right, everyone. See you later. Happy gardening. Bye.